is rain in the area, but we've been given the go-ahead to get this one started. We've got an NL East contest tonight between the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Carlos Carrasco gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, we're going to get a chance to look at a good veteran pitcher here. This guy's been around the block a few times, but one of the things he does, he still competes at a high level, and he's never stopped trying to learn how to be a good pitcher. Striding in is JT Real Muto, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Ready with the one and one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. That second. With that, second here's baseman. the starting lineup for the visiting Philadelphia Sakura. Phillies. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, Matt, I appreciate the way Bryce Harper plays the game. He's hitting over 350 versus right-handed pitching on the season. And today, he has another right-hander on the mound. I don't know what it is or how he picks up the ball so well, but he is sure putting up great numbers against them. In now, Gene Segura hit on the ground to third. And there's out number two. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Mike Schmidt. He went deep in the contest last night. Two out, nobody on. Into the corner and slicing foul. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two out walk. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. So next to the plate for the Phils, Richie Ashburn looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. Schmidt, the runner at first with two gone. Called strike and he's behind one and two. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Well, this has been a good at that. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Zach Eflin gets the ball for Philadelphia in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Now at the plate, here is Michael Conforto. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 
a 1-1 home. And right into the shift. Segura fields it cleanly. And there's one away. Batting second. With a moment here in fielder. Flushing Meadows, let's Brand meet Jay. the Mets. Who's the one to watch, Nimmo. Dan? Well, I'm really going to have to keep a close eye on Brandon Nimmo. He's really excelled against right-handed pitching this season, hitting over 300 against them coming in. So given the matchup he's faced with here, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see him make some noise at the plate. So here is the aforementioned outfielder. Goes after the sinker there as this is fouled away. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I would. Now, here's a fly ball. Well hit. Back goes Harper, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. He hit the corner and tries for third. The relay throw, but he is in there with a triple. And that triple could that not good. have come at a better good time. Good. The team has really Go. struggled the last few games trying Go to get over the hump, and they're looking for anything good to happen to them. And I'd say that triple definitely qualifies. They are fired up. Into the box now. Joe Torre swinging a looper to left. Rollins takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Batting four. The second baseman. Robinson. Cano. Next for the Mets, Robinson Cano, runner in scoring position with Sujan. And that's in there on the hands. Three and two now. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. Hit to first. Hoskins gathers it in, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Mets strand one. Still no score. We begin the second in New York. Here's Heidi Watney with an update on the weather conditions. Well, Matt, it doesn't appear that we're going to get much of a break from this rain at all as the game progresses. However, I am also hearing that this rain isn't supposed to intensify too much. The grounds crew will be on standby just in case the umpires do call a delay. But the goal is to get this one in uninterrupted. Yeah, Heidi, and thanks. Even with all the technology that we have today to be able to forecast the weather accurately, one never knows what Mother Nature has in store. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And that misses 2-1. and one. Fellas, these Mets, as they enter play here tonight, it was another loss for them last time out, and that makes them 2-8 and eight over their last 10 games. Yeah, Matty, this is the perfect guy to have on the mound. A veteran... Not going to let the moment get too big for him. Completely understands what's being asked of him. They've been losing lately. That can't be denied. But this is the perfect guy. Right guy, right spot. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. The 2-2. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. At the plate, Bryce Harper. Way outside, nearly to the backstop. Two and one. No score here as we play inning number two. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Nimmo. He's got it and there are two down now. 
batting seven. The shortstop, Jimmy Rollins. Here comes Jimmy Rollins, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. The 1-1. One, one. In the air, down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And that brings up the former MVP, Keith Hernandez. It was an 0 for 4 day for him in yesterday's loss. Swing and a miss much too early, and that makes it a full count. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. Well, that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet 6 inches. That exists. So no here's how the Phillies are positioned defensively. Let's spot shadow Bryce Harper and why wouldn't we he's only one of the best players in the game he puts it on the line every night in the field and at the plate. Into the box Dominic Smith. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. That is seven. Bases are empty here with two away. And that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Hit weakly on the ground to short. Go on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. We'll move to the third with no score. set to get underway and that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come Reese Hoskins good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss I love everything this pitcher's got working right now he's got presence He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Reese Hoskins gun. is retired to start the third. Zach Eflin. Plate now, Zach Eflin. Nope, that's the ball. Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Now the 2 1 pitch. Waves and misses for strike <laughs> number two. Still two and two. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. JT Real Muto will be next. Three two pitch. Full count still. <laughs> Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. Fouled away. And he 
finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Now, I know he struck out there, but for a pitcher, that's a pretty solid at that. Now, that Anytime you can make an opposing pitcher out there work and throw quite a few more extra pitches, that's a quality A-B in my book. Standing in now, JT Real Muto struck him out. So he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and his side is retired. Phillies down in order. Home half of the third coming up. No score. of the inning now and with it comes Francisco Lindor to the plate. Now the one and one pitch. Misses oh, for cool. the second ball. Two one home. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. Batting nut. No pitcher. Carlos. Go Rasco. Next up from New York, Carlos Carrasco. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. One and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet, and said that, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Blake now, Michael Conforto. No Go offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. So on a full count pitch, he's able to get on base and keep the inning going. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Stepping in now, Gene Segura. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Two on Still count. all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue, or does somebody score here? Uh, I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring oh, affairs. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Carrasco pauses. Here's the pitch. He swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. Cano retreats to the outfield grass and he has it the for round one. number one. The third baseman, Mike Schmidt. 
Next up is Mike Schmidt worked a walk his first time up. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. And now pitch on the way. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And indeed, oh. the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. And now it will be the cleanup spot mm -hmm. for the Phillies. Richie That's Ashburn. Good. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Ball. And this is Damn. low, ball two, two and one. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Hit out towards second. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Brandon Nimmo. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. So now into the box is Joe Torrey, runner at first to start the inning. And Dan, when it comes to pitching in the rain, what changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry. And if you don't have a good feel in that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. Nimmo gets his lead at first, nobody out. Fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. One two softly hit down to third likely no shot at two Segura for one on to first and they get them both. It's hard to do anything with a pitch like that that's below the zone and if you do do anything with it most of the time this will be the result a double play on a good pitch down in the zone. It'll be the four hole hitter, Robinson Cano. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. This one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Popped up. Segura calls for it, and he makes the play to end the inning. Mets go down quickly through four still tied nothing nothing welcome back to flushing Queens before we get back to baseball let's check in with Heidi Matt I had a chance to catch up with manager Joe Girardi during the commercial break about the Phillies offense 
And he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at bats. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. All right, thanks, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Andrew McCutcheon. The 1-1 one -one home. Hey! Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Weak rounder back to the mound. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The white fielder, number three, Bryce Harper. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. Blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball Fastball, three. and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. They know the threat this guy poses at the plate. I know it's a 3-1 in this situation right here, but I cannot believe for the life of me this pitcher is going to come anywhere near the middle of the zone. Inside, he misses ball four. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Rolling. So now here is Jimmy Rollins. He flew out in his last A.B. Throw over to the bag. And he'll dive back in. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Lined hard to center field. Nimmo is there. Two gone. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. And that will bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Struck out in his first at-bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch A-Bs, Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Two out with the man at first. Nope. Three and one now. Down nope. three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Fouled off. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One left for Philadelphia. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. 
Matt, during the break, I caught up with the Mets manager to discuss his thoughts on his club's offense so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. All right, Heidi, thank you. And that misses nope. ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. At the plate now is Dominic Smith looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Fernandez on the first, nobody out. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Two Boy, and not one. exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. The two one home. Smoked on the ground up the middle. A bare hand for one. On to first to complete the double play. That's a great example there of why the sinker is such an effective pitch. The hitter's eyes see it higher in the zone than it ends up, and that makes it real tough to square up. Into the box now, Jeff McNeil. High and deep to straightaway right. Back goes Harper at the track. Adios, pelota. Solo shot here to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him, and the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Into the box, Francisco Lindor. Two oh, balls and a strike. Okay. You know, he was really pounding the strike zone early on, but he's kind of gotten away from that here a bit. He might just need a little reminder to attack hitters and trust his stuff. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two balls and two strikes to count to Francisco Lindor. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. And it's fouled away. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. the mound this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy he's thrown a bunch of pitches and this AB hasn't been any different definitely laboring at the moment 3-2 pitch four foul balls in this AB pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away another full count pitch home weak chopper to the left side
too close for comfort and he did a good job just to make contact. And he That's misses ball four. ball four. Looks like the pitching coach might want to have a chat here. Now yeah, and I'm not it. sure no I agree pitcher. with it either. Most pitchers, oh, like when they're in a group, oh, they just want to get back on the bump and compete. Sometimes visits like these are just like a formality. So here now is the pitcher, Carlos Carrasco. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little hey. deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. The one-two. I got to count. Two and two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. The 2 2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo shot. Through five innings, it's 1 0 Mets. Leading off the inning, it'll be Zach Eflin, and they could use a spark from him here. A one ball, two strike count to the Phillies pitcher. What a well executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first now, out. Bobby, He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff mm -hmm. guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one. At the plate, JT Realmuto. One, one ball. one pitch is a slider two that's cut on and missed for strike two. Wow, that was an ugly swing right there, and that tells us all we need to know. Nobody's picking the baseball up off this guy. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach mm -hmm. finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. to the plate now. Gene Segura. This pitch is popped up. Cano has got it and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. They're down one nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder Michael Conforto. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder is on the move, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. The center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. Stepping up is Brandon Nimmo. It was a walk in his last trip. One out, nobody on. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Line to short but gobbled up there and there are two away. The catcher number nine. Joe. Torre. And stepping in Joe Torre. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Two out, nobody on. Grounded to third. Gloved by Schmidt. 
throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets, but they hold a 1-0 lead. So here is Mike Schmidt, and guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Carrasco pauses. Here it comes on three and two. Popped him up. Lindor moving to his left. One down. The left field of the wall. Nicky Astor. Next to stand in is Ricky Ashburn. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Swing and a little blooper to center. Cano has a play, and he makes the catch for the second out. Now back, the seventh field, Andrew McCutcheon. So the next to bat will be Andrew McCutcheon. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. Set. Here comes the 1 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. This one's down to third. Reined in. Throw on to Hernandez for the put out, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail this one, one to nothing. Ranger Suarez gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seven. Number 55. So here's the cleanup hitter, Robinson Cano. Third at bat in this one. He's bounced out and popped out in his two previous trips. The 1-1 one -one takes a pitch for strike number two. Lifted down the line and left. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Now another 1-2. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in the count if you're a pitcher, because you have to cover now both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. In a one two count, you might be sitting off speed. And what happens? He gets the fastball, and he can't catch up to the express. At the plate now, Keith Hernandez. Ball. And he misses two, two and ball. one. One strike. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so 
he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he fouls this one off. Payoff pitch one more time. Line drive to center field. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulders square, his hands inside the baseball, and was able to fight off a good, nice executed pitch for a knock. Stepping in now, Dominic Smith. Swing and a liner. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Now batting. Number six. Next up, Jeff McNeil. His career numbers against this pitcher. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. One one home. That's fastball that misses. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Fouled straight back. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. So now to the plate, Francisco Lindor. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus on making some good pitches. To the left side, but it's well fouled. Runners at the corners, two men out. And he lays off the pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Swing and a line drive. But this is going to land foul, so they'll tee it up again. Three and two. Ready with the payoff pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. Segura has it. On the first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. Two left for the Mets. They lead it one to nothing. Dig in at the plate. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the one and one pitch. In the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here comes the one two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. 
Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. In now, Jimmy Rollins. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Philly shortstop in front of the count three and one. Three and one, here it is. And this will be nowhere close as his control deserts him here. It's a five-pitch walk. And when your pitch count gets over 100, you've got to expect them to lose a little bit of accuracy out there. And I think if he gets into any more trouble, they might come get him. We'll see if he can finish strong. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Set to deal on two and two. Got him. Four outs away from his date with history. Well, a huge out number two here at the eight. Four outs okay. remain, but the finish line is starting to come into focus now. Alan Bone come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 28. Alan Bone. running a pitch out the throw and they still don't get him as he's in safely at second with a stolen base I'm not sure what else the defense could have done there they pitched out and the throw was pretty good but they still couldn't cut him down you kind of just have to hope he gets a bad jump the set and the 2-1 swung out and missed him it's even at 2-2 two and two. This is on the ground over to first. Hernandez grabs it cleanly. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Philly strand one. They still trail one nothing. Sam Kumran is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom now, half of the eighth. Number 54, Sam J.D. Davis is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. A little bit outside. Two and one. A swing and a miss of the slider at 88. Two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Sharp ground ball to third. Oh, look at Schmidt. Hey now. Man, I love this play. It makes me miss playing third base right here. He smothered it with the dive. And I love how fast he got to his feet, set his shoulders, and threw an absolute bullet across the diamond. Into the box, Michael Conforto. Here's a foul ball left side, and that'll move it to one and two. Now pitch on the way. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. One out, nobody on. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. In 
into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. He pulls this one into right. Harper is there, two down. Now batting, center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. And here's the former first-round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. He tripled earlier, making him one for two in the ballgame. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. That's a ball. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Nope, that's and he misses down. low here, so the count goes to three and one. Joe Torrey would be next. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked in, and they've got themselves a two out base runner. The catcher, number nine. Joe. Next, it'll be Joe Torrey. He grounded out last time up. Nimmo leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Mets leave one, but they lead it one to nothing. Your Seth Lugo please. comes on from the pen, now, hoping to finish this one off here in the top Number of the ninth. 67. Seth Lugo. set for the start of the inning and next will be the speedy catcher JT Real Muto. Yeah it's always a nightmare taking on another team's closer trying to get back into a game especially in the ninth inning but having your leadoff guy up to start that inning is as good as you could have hoped for. So let's see if he can get something started here. Now the 2-1. Got a piece it's 2-2. Two two. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. And you can't even put a good swing on it. Here's the 2-2 pitch. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Final line there for the Mets starting pitcher. And he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. Wow, what a powerful performance. Eight shutout innings in line for the win. At the plate, Gene Segura. Segura behind on a one and two count. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And he strikes him out as well. So two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Philly down to their last strike. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder giving chase. Conforto is there. Makes the catch. And there it is. A no-hitter. Yeah, you know what's amazing? A combined no-hitter is even more rare than a complete game no-hitter. So it's not something you see every day or every year for that matter. And that's what you call a total team effort.
the final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. One run, five hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For Philadelphia, no runs on no hits, no errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, a swift two hours and 19 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at City Field, 41,922. The Mets thank you for your continued support and remind you to please get home safely. Thank mm -hmm. you.